Right, it's Mike from the Mike James Rock Show. Mr. Frank Carter has joined us. How's it going, my friend? It's going really well. Cool, man. I think the last time we caught up with you was very briefly at Reading Festival. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you went out walking across the, uh, the crowd <laughs> there. Since then, your stock has just gone... It started going like that, and now it's just gone real high. It's, it must be buzzing at the moment. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, I mean, it's what I've been working towards for a long, long time. Yeah, so yeah. for me, to, to be here, you know, sort of 12 years into a career and three bands later and it start finally hitting, it, it's, it's really exciting. It's crazy, isn't it? You yeah. A number one album, cover star of like national magazines and things like that. Yeah. Um, the sound of the album has changed uh, quite a bit con- compared to the first mm. album. Is, is this the plan? How does it do different styles in, in music per album? Cause, like, um, if you, even if you go back as far as like Gallows and Pure Love, it's all different styles on the same variant kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm an artist who just wants to release the music that he wants to release yeah, yeah. when he wants to release it. And, the thing with um, Blossom and Modern Ruin is both of those albums were written in the same year. They were both written in 2015. Wow. So, you know, from the, from the beginning, our whole, like, idea was to have an identity that was vast. It was, yeah, yeah. you know, and it was very diverse. Um, and we wanted to create a gigantic landscape that we could play around in. That's cool. Um, because we like all sorts of music, you know, we're, we're a rock band really, but okay. we grew up in punk rock and roll and hardcore. Yeah. So we wanted to pay homage to that properly. Um, you know, when people say to us like, man, the, 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 the album's changed quite a lot. And I'm like, yeah, kind of, but we wrote in the same year. People, that kind of throws a spanner in the works for really people. Does, and they're like, hang on, how, how did you do that? And I'm like, I still don't know. That's like, we wrote like 40 songs that year and, okay. and that was the kind of the albums that we hammered out. Like, are, you, are you still keeping some songs back for a third album then in that session? That you, you know, we wrote Wildflowers before, that was one of the first songs we ever wrote. So As a band entirely? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So we didn't, so we, but we just knew that it wasn't the right time for that song on Blossom. Okay, the yeah, record okay. Blossom was not about that, it was about loss and it was about grief. Yeah. Um, so we held that back for Modern Ruin and there are songs that we wrote around the time that we were, you know, getting ready to release Modern Ruin that we just felt weren't right, so they've been held as well. The, the problem when you hold a song is like it has a real fight to get back in the record. Yeah. And Wild Flowers was one of those songs that we just loved so much it, it was easy to know where it was going to go. Um, in the future, I don't know, because we've... After we wrote Modern Ruin, we, we've taken a break now for a year. We, we didn't write a single song okay. in, in 2016. So you've been in a different so. mindset completely. Yeah, now, and yeah. now we're like, we're getting there now where we, we're sort of getting it, getting that antsy, we want to write, but okay. we're, we're still trying to sort of take our time. Just like, formulating some plans in your head. Yeah, well, well we're trying to enjoy it as well. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, you can spend so much time, you know, music can, can feel very serious when you're in it and you're working it. Like, it's easy to sort of ignore like the the incredible position that you have and the opportunity. So we're just trying to relish the stage diving at the minute. It's just cool, trying man. to enjoy what we've got going yeah, on. Yeah, so. it's good to see that there's a, a, a top ten album selling artist that still is nose to nose with people in, in yeah. hits and things like that. Did you ever envisage that your album would go as high as it did in the not just like iTunes rock charts, but the whole no. national overall charts? You were like top ten. It was amazing. God no, it was crazy. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously it's something that you always kind of you hope for yeah. um, because it it holds a lot of weight in the industry and to a lot of people that can open a lot of doors for you. It's, much, it's yeah. an important that number is important to them. The number is less important to me I, I, as long as people are listening to the record I don't yeah, care yeah. where it ends up but um, it was great it was, you know my mum was really proud my dad was proud like it's, it's an important moment for them as well so it was yeah it was great your number one fans all the way aren't they really yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you're here in Exeter yeah. um, it's been a while since you played here in any kind of guys yeah, at all yeah it's been a long time actually it yeah. really has yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the entire tour sold out before you'd even put petrol in the uh, fuel tank I guess uh, Pretty that's much, the, yeah. That's the second tour in a row now. What's what's the plans going forward? Are you, you going to up it another level, or are you just going to go straight out and ride the the crest of the wave and see how big this can go? I mean, yeah, we're going to try and push it again. Um, we're going to try and push it as big as we can for the end of the year. Nice. Um, I think at this point we've played like four or five tours of the UK, and and every one, apart from our very first tour where we didn't have, we had an EP, we had three songs out. Um, that sold half out. Like yeah. every tour since then has sold out completely, and I think for now we just want to go and play some big rooms and some big yeah. stages and show show the world like who we are and what we're about. I think there are still a lot of people that 
have an idea of who I am and it might not be a positive one, you know? They, they might think of me only as the guy from Gallows or only as the guy from Pure Love. Yeah. And I think what we're doing on this tour specifically is we're changing a lot of people's perceptions of me That's what it's all about, and the band. It? Yeah, yeah and, we, and we're just trying to open as many doors as we can and say that, look, we are going to be an important British rock and roll band. Um, so please come along with us. There's, you know, there's support definitely us. that feel about that as well, about you guys. Yeah, and it's what we doing. see like every night in the crowd. Like, we, I have to take a moment because, I mean, we played in Leeds the other night and, and then Birmingham the night after, and both times I just was laughing. Like, I was just la- like laughing hysterically so much that I couldn't sing because <laughs> of just what I was seeing in front of me. It was hectic. The, yeah, yeah. The, like, the floor is just, like, explosive and... To see people like that passionately into our music is a massive, massive thing. That is like an incredible feeling that you cannot explain to someone. No, you, not you at know, all. It's, it's, yeah. it's a moment you share. It's why you buy your ticket in advance exactly. and you go in and you know you're going to get hot and sweaty. And yeah, just mad. A lot of people are angry and need that like, release. Yeah. The same as you on stage, I guess. You need that release and you it's, come together as one. Exactly. And it's like, look, there is a lot in the world to be angry about, mm. you know, um, more than ever now. But... It's about doing the right thing with that emotion. You know, anger is such a strong and potent emotion. Oh, very much, yeah. And it can very easily lead you to go down the wrong path. Like, what we're about is about taking that emotion that is important and showing people that you can do really positive things with it. Yeah. And hopefully what we're doing is inspiring people to, like, write about what's going on in their lives or sing about it or, you know, paint about it and just try and try and find, like, a positive outlet for that anger rather than just, you know... Like, as an example, you know... If you look back historically, yeah, yeah. like, punk rock came from a time when, it, you know, people weren't listening, so people started throwing bricks. Do you know what I mean? Like... I want people to pick up a brick and understand it has m- many uses. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know oh, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. build something with it, you know? Don't use it to destroy something else. Like, it's, you're, if you build, like, a big fucking tower with it, then you can, you, your voice is going to be heard yeah. a lot clearer. So. It's turning a negative into a positive and sharing the love. Into hundreds of positives, yeah. yeah so. um, you're about to go out and do your first uh, shows in the States as well. Yeah. That's, that's got yeah. me nuts. It's terrifying. It's <laughs> like, I haven't, I mean, I lived there for five mm. years, so I've got a real affinity to the country but um, I've toured there man six I've toured the entire country like five or six oh, times really? so for me I'm just it, I'm itching it's to get there right. and with this band particularly like we've got such a strong force of musicianship with us I really feel like we've got the right sound now and I've got the, the understanding to go and play That's nice. to America and say like this is who we are this is this is what we're about yeah um, Lead, leading that, that, that assault from the British yeah, bands there seems to be quite yeah. a few going over there and really hitting it off at the moment yeah, it's like no, a new it, wave exactly like, and that's I can think that's kind of what happens you know you build your story here and the story spreads and then you have to go and put it out um, with us we've waited a little bit longer than we probably could have but I have to still remind myself like we've ever been a band two years like it's, it's, it's not, not it, you know no. most bands that start they wouldn't be going to America within not two all, years no. like so we're really lucky that we're able to get there and I think it's actually better for us because we've got more music now if we went on our first album we would have had ten songs to choose it's, it's this is, we've got like a big you know we've got an hour that we can play now comfortably yeah. and a few extra ones that we throw in if I'm feeling really pumped or the boys are not too tired like <laughs> Yeah, but that's cool. Um, I wish you all the best of luck for Thank everything the, the rest of this year. Turns out, well, I'm sure we'll see you at Reading again. Yes, um, we're looking forward to yeah. that and just just following you on social media and seeing Thank what you, you keep up to. It's, it's going to be an exciting year for you. Thank Thanks, you. Frank. Thank you that's very cool. much. Cool.